Hi friends, uh, this is an announcement for the next live session for all of our enrolled students on February 3rd, 2019, which is a Sunday, right? So we are conducting this live session on a Sunday because uh, we, have, we have talked to a lot of students, uh, all of the course participants. We have some working professionals and we have some students who go to college and the college going students suggested us that on Saturdays they will not be able to attend during the morning hours. So as, as a trade off, we said we will do it on a Sunday and from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So morning 10 a.m. for two hours up to noon, right? So this is a two hour session. Of course, this could get slightly extended by 10 minutes here and there but it will be roughly uh, in this in this two hour period, right? So this is on a Sunday so that all of our students, whether they're college going students or working professionals can comfortably attend. Since this is also morning guards, we wanted to finish it pre-lunch so that people who want to head out for a Sunday lunch with family and friends could do so. So it, it's a trade-off. I understand that some of you want it on a Saturday, but uh, uh, it's a trade-off between student, college going students and working professionals. And we, we wanted to do justice to both and hence we chose a Sunday. And we'll try to stick to Sundays mostly because it caters to the needs of the whole spectrum of students that we have. Having said that, uh, the next topic we have is basically a full-fledged two-hour Q&A session on probability and statistics. So when we, when we observe data from our students completing the course, we see that they're, they complete the Python chapters very well. So when I come from the top down, they complete Python very well and they complete EDA also very well. A bunch of linear algebra also they finish very well. This is one chapter where a lot of students get stuck because I, I agree that it's also confusing because probable, thinking from a probabilistic and a statistical viewpoint is slightly tricky. I'm not saying it is hard, but it's tricky. So we thought that we will do a Q&A session just on this topic. I'll explain you how the Q&A session will work. Some of our students also suggested us that we should be doing something like a Reddit, ask me anything type of pattern. So we're trying to find a good pattern for these Q&A sessions so that most of our students are happy with the Q&A, most of their questions are resolved while keeping it for a limited period of two hours. Because if I extend it for anything more than two hours, most people would get exhausted. Even within these two hours, we will try and take a five minute break in between um, a, a water break so that because it's also hard for me to continuously go on for two hours. So we'll take a five minute break and things like that. So the other thing is, I'll explain you how the Q&A session will work in a little while. But the reason we chose this topic is because we have students at different stages of the course. The last live session that we did on productionization of models is for students who are at a later stage, right? So we have students in the early stages of the course and we have students in the later stages of the course. So what we are planning to do is we are planning to do sessions in an alternating fashion where some sessions are interesting for students who are in the early stages of the course. Some sessions are interesting for students who are in the later stage of the course later stages of the course. So as a student progresses, right, this is a question that we are often asked. So as a student just joins the course in the early sections, he may not be able to understand the complex topics and advanced topics that we are intending for the later, for the students in the later sections. But I recommend you join because you'll have a perspective there, right? You'll at least know the terms, you'll at least know what to do and what not to do. But as a student progresses through the course and moves to the later chapters of the course, he will be able to, he or she will be able to understand both the later later uh, live sessions, I mean live sessions corresponding to later, uh, corresponding to chapters in the later sections of the course and also the early ones. So as students make progress in the course, in the early parts, they may be able to understand the early, uh, the live sessions, some live sessions very well and some live sessions not so well. But as they progress through the course, the number of live sessions that they can understand will increase. And as soon as they make a significant progress in the course, they'll be able to understand every live session, right? So we want to cater to students in both brackets here, both in the early sections and later sections. So in the previous live session, we did productionization, which is mostly targeted towards students who have at least finished 50% of the course. So now we are targeting the previous section, which is probability and statistics. This is one of our early chapters. And we also realize that most of our students get stuck here, right? So let's see, let's see how, so we thought a lot about how to conduct this live Q&A section. Okay, this is a live session, Q&A on probability and statistics. So if I just use YouTube live, 
right? If I just use the live comments on YouTube or Vimeo or any other live platform, if I use the live live chat session, right? It's called the live chat. If I use that, the biggest problem I see is chats cannot be upvoted or downvoted, right? Chats are basically like a stream. You get basically chat, 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 chat. It's almost impossible to go through hundreds of these chats and try to understand what students want because you can't upvote and downvote a chat. Chats come like a stream, right? So we felt that this, this chat UI that you have in on YouTube and Vimeo is not optimal, optimal for Q&A because in the last session, we answered some 20 questions, right? From the live chat, but only a small subset of students are happy with that, right? We want to satisfy more students. We want to help more students clarify their doubts. So we said, let's do it this way. So under this video on YouTube, so this video is on YouTube, right? You're watching this on YouTube. So under this video, we want you to leave your comments because comments on YouTube can be upvoted or downvoted. Okay, you can, you can actually like, the, you can actually upvote these, uh, you can actually upvote the comments under the YouTube section, unlike your live chat. In live chat, you can't upvote and say you're interested in this. But what we want you to do is any question that you want us to cover in the live section, any question that you have, we have close to 48 hours. We have close to 48 hours before the next live session. So please think of all the questions that you have in probability and statistics and put them in the comment section under this video. Right. And if you like comments that other students have put in, please give it a upvote. And what we plan to do is we plan to do this Q&A in the order of the most voted comments. Right. So if you go to YouTube, you can sort it by top voted comments. So we thought we'll start answering questions by the most voted question first and then the second most voted question and so on and so forth. Because that way, I know that this is a question that most students want us to answer and hence we are answering them. And we will keep this comment section open from now up to the end of the live section, right? So during the two hours of the live session also, we recommend you put everything, all the questions you have in the comment section here, right? Because unlike your live chat, which you cannot upvote and downvote, your comment section can be upvoted and downvoted. And this will be sort of like an ask me anything. Okay, this is, this is sort of like a Reddit ask me anything, wherein we are just asking our students to upvote and downvote so that the question that most students want us to answer would be answered first. Okay, again, this is a big experiment that we're conducting and we don't know, like for example, in the last live session, it was also a big experiment for us. The live chat thing with, with hundreds of messages was not scaling because I didn't know which answer, which question was most requested by our students because it's just a flood of comments. So we hope this voting and comments under this video will help us. And you can comment and vote under this video till the end of the live section, even during the live session on at from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. on February 3rd. During the live section also, you can keep posting your comments and we'll try to cover as many as we can. OK, just like in a standard AMA section, it's almost impossible to cover everything, but we want to cover as many as we can. That's why we are blocking the whole two hours for just discussion on probability and statistics. Number one. The other thing that we want to learn from this Q&A section is uh, we want to see our content is constantly evolving and constantly changing based on student feedback. So we hope that from this live section, from this live session, we would understand some of the concepts that students are getting stuck because those will be my top comments, right? And these comments and this live section will help us improve the whole course content for probability and statistics. Right. So again, the, the probability and statistics content has gone through four iterations till now. OK, we have constantly edited the content based on feedback from students, based on comments that we got in the comment section, based on those videos where students asked more questions, all of that stuff we've done. But we want to still improve it. I think there is there is still scope to improve the probability and statistics chapter. And we want that learning to come from this live section. So please take your time. Please put in the comments. And please also upvote others' comments, okay, which you want us to cover in a in a top-down fashion. Thank you all. See you on uh, Feb 3rd live. And we'll send you the rest of the information on how to join the live event.